This is the journey to one Africa. Your Excellency Severo Ramaphosa, President of the Republic of South Africa, heads of state and government of BRICS member states, fellow heads of states and government of the African Union member countries, ladies and gentlemen, it is both a pleasure and an honor to join you in this beautiful city of Johannesburg for the 15th BRICS Summit. Mr. Chairman, allow me to use this brief time allotted to me to applaud you members of the BRICS for keeping this association going since its establishment in 2009. Indeed, the international challenges that inspired the creation of BRICS have evolved and one may say to the worse. Henceforth, in the face of the poly crisis and rising global uncertainty, there is a great need to have a meaningful dialogue that seeks to find common solution to common challenges. That's why I welcome and commend the selection of the theme for this dialogue. I'm very optimistic that this dialogue will advance deliberations geared toward resolving the complex challenges which our countries are facing both individually and collectively. Excellencies, one aspect which I personally consider critical in the cause of the dialogue is the call to redouble efforts and take concrete actions to address the North-South divide so as to deepen strategic, financial, trade, investment, and economic partnerships based on a just international economic order. It is gratifying, however, to note that amidst these challenges, the BRICS offer a possibility of coming up with a more equitable, balanced, and fair mechanism to deal with an international economic order that has thus far remained unattainable and an elusive aspiration. It is on these grounds that BRICS African Partnership needs to focus on unlocking potential opportunities on the continent towards realization of both Agenda 2063 and the Sustainable Development Goals which includes the operationalization of African free trade area. Forging ahead, Tanzania envisages the BRICS African partnership that supports African endeavors in promoting and strengthening regional value chains and furthermore, partnership that can, uh, that can promote or help African producers to be able to gain access to broader export markets. Excellencies, the second issue which I wish to underscore is the continued relevance and the validity of multilateralism. I note with satisfaction that this has been captured in the theme of this summit. Indeed, multilateralism stands as the major tool in addressing most of global geopolitical challenges. And in this regard, as we convene in multilateral fora such as this one, we should not lessen our efforts to strengthen the United Nations. At its 78th years of existence, it remains the sole body with universal membership. And so, Tanzania, at this point, would wish to reiterate this in the strongest voice on the need to reform the UN Security Council to make it fairly representative, effective, and reflective of the current geopolitical realities. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, I would wish to commend the Republic of South Africa for the excellent hosting of this summit. I should also commend the BRICS countries for their efforts geared toward the advancement of the South-South as well as the African Agenda for Growth, 
development in, and integration. It is Tanzania's hope that African issues and concerns, as well as priorities, will continue to feature in the upcoming BRICS engagements. The United Republic of Tanzania is and remains a staunch supporter of multilateralism, more inclusive and fair global system, a well-functioning financial architecture, and a deeper South-South cooperation. This regard to remain a true friend and partner of BRICS in all its interventions. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you. Thank you, President.